What's up guys, Solar Renekton and only here, back with another Overwatch commentary. We are playing some of the Ninja Assassin Genji. Aw oh, yeah. I've been practicing Genji all day yesterday, night, and then all morning today. So hopefully I can do well. I mean, I've played him before that obviously, but I have like 12 hours total on him now. So, I don't know, I'm feeling pretty comfortable. I know what I'm doing with combos and all that stuff. But yeah, let's just run through his abilities real quick. So left click throws three shurikens in a straight line to the dot. It's obviously their projectiles. So like if I move this or that I move, obviously it moves it, right? And then my right right click is just a fan and it throws them in a line like this. But the middle one always hits the dot. Your E blocks any incoming uh, projectiles for two seconds. And then your shift is a dash that resets on kills that also deals damage. So it's, it, it allows you basically to... Uh... Wait, what? So I reflected that flashbang on him. He's low. I want to try and finish this. Oh, he's getting healing. Okay. Definitely going to back out. I want to stick on the sides. I don't want to get too aggressive here. Got him. Alright, I'm going to turn up the heat. And by that I mean I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Never mind. There was an opportunity to get aggressive, but I didn't land the first shots. There we go. This guy's super low. There it is. There's a health back here. I should be okay. Whoa! There we go. Climb over top and get on out. Perfect. All right. The problem with the, doing like Genji commentaries is you have to move the screen so fast. So I always feel like it, it might move fa too fast for some people. Like I'm always like whipping the screen around and stuff. Alright, they swap to a Reaper. You're just going to get the health back. I can't do much about that. So I don't really want to commit too heavy for that fight. Ooh! Oh, that was disgusting! Uh-oh. Wait, what? I didn't get assist for that? Hello? There it is. I need to leave. <laughs> get the health back. Alright, when you're in melee mode, like when you're up nice and close, you can look to use... Nice shot, dude. You can look to use a right click or a left click and then melee immediately after because it like cancels it. I'll show you what, right when I spawn. But it's like a melee immediately beat down. So, or a right click immediately beat down. So it looks like this. So like, immediately, oops, shoot and then immediately hit it instead of like shooting and then hitting like that. So when you're up close and personal, you want to be spamming the right click because you're hitting multiple shots on them because they're really close to you. Or if it's like a fat guy, like Roadhog or uh, I'm just going to back up. I don't want to give him anything. All right. We got to be careful about that guy though. We do not do well against, uh, <laughs> yeah, we do not do well against the monkey. Got one. Got the reload here. Woo! Woo! Can you feel that? Yeah, I can. First round over. All right, that was a pretty good round. Good job, boys. Let's hopefully we can carry it over to the next round. I'll show you guys some of the combos right now. So like some of the stuff that you can do, like I said, you can always just do either left click into melee, right click into melee, but then you can also do, you can also cancel animations with shift. So like, say I was, say there was a guy like right next to me, right? And I want to do, you know, the, the right click into melee and then I'm going to shift afterwards. That's like going to be the best thing, right? So right click, melee, shift. And then when I then I turn around and I finish him with like the last shot if that didn't already kill him. But typically you want to poke them out first and then do like a combo like that. So that combo would finish, you'd get a, a reset on your shift and you'd be able to go back in and make more plays. It, it also like you can just get crazy combos when you get your ultimate up and you can start slashing and doing insane damages. Just reflecting that. Let me see if I can go behind. I'm going to wait a couple seconds for my abilities to come up. I don't want to, like, go in the back line without my shift up. All right, so stuff's up now. GG. 
You just hit me square in the face with the rocket for 120? Oh, damn, he did. Okay, get wrecked. <laughs> Alright, unfortunate, man. I got rocketed in the face. I should have just been... I don't know, I got a little greedy. I was like, oh, he's just going to die. I want to try and contest... I was trying to contest the health pack, so I wanted to take a little bit of damage, but I definitely did not want to die. wall. There's a health pack over here. Let's grab that. They drop down into this room. Oh, you bitch. Oh my god, dude. That guy screwed me over so much. I had so many kills. Fuck. Is that third slash I missed, dude? I don't know if I should have went for the reflect or the the slash because the reflect didn't even do anything because it like hit the ground instead of aimed at me. So like, I should have just went for the last slash. I think I would have got him and then still died. But at least I would have traded the kill. It would have been a little bit better. Damn, I gotta start popping off again, man. Oh, can't deal with me. See ya! <laughs> Damn, dude. Is this the guy who was playing the monkey earlier? I think so. Now he's playing the May. God damn, that's such an annoying hero to deal with. Especially when I use my shift in. If I knew Mei was right there, I wouldn't have done it. But generally, you don't want to use your shift going in toward a Mei unless you can guarantee the finish. Which is somewhat difficult because... Okay. Which is somewhat difficult because she can just barrier and heal back up. So you really have to be sure. I'm just going to play this high position until I get a lot of uh, team over here to help out. Because then there's always a health pack that's right in this room over here. There we go. So people are starting to come in. I didn't need to... Just gonna get out of here. There's my reset. Another one. How many soldiers do they have? I'm just gonna back out, you just gotta heal. Nope. Get the hell out of there. So that's why you wanna save your shift. See how it's a different situation completely when I have my shift? Because I can just use my shift to get out. I, I have my ultimate, so I'm gonna go ham here. Good bad guy! Why are you doing this to me? Why are you so good at this game? Oh, why am I so good at this game? Hello. Oh, McCree. Nice left click. Well well done, my friend. I think he hit me twice with left click. It was really good. Once. Yeah. Two out of three shots. That's not bad at all. On a jumping Genji, that's actually pretty difficult. Not bad, dude. Not bad. All right, I'll take that. I thought I was going to get one more refresh than I got. I wouldn't have used my shift uh, the way I did. Because it, it made me stuck away from this guy. He's just gonna heal up. I'm gonna back out of this fight. Yeah, I'm gonna back out again. There we go. Picked up the May. Just gonna fall down here. Uh oh, we got. All right, we're contesting. I was gonna say we gotta get in it. Force that guy out. But this guy went down here. Alright, we're just gonna hide right now. No! I was the last guy too, huh? Oh, are we gonna lose off of that? Damn, I had to kill like four people there. I should have sat back farther. I had like probably four seconds on my ultimate. So if I just sat back in that, in that corner and kept throwing my fan out, I think it would have been a better situation. Because then I could have just ulted, came out. I don't know, I still would have been like half HP. And they had a soldier across the way that was going to light me up. It would have still been hard, but it would have been a much better situation than I put myself into. Because when I went, when I go in aggressive, I thought, honestly, I thought I could finish him off by, like, shifting and then meleeing after. 
because I just wanted to go in and shift and melee after, right? But I shifted like through him too far, so my melee, you know, was already past him, so it wasn't gonna hit. So I didn't have enough damage to finish, get the reset, and dash back into the tunnel, which is what my intended plan was, but it's all right. Now this one's for all the marbles. We are one and one. Let's see if we can do it. They have a Bastion. All right. Oh, that's not good. Woo, son. Get the fuck off me. Let's go. All right. Now we got to get to a health pack. Here it is. All right. Woo. Oh my god, I have five health. Alright, let's get out. Is health back over here? Oh my god, this game is so intense. I'm sorry if I'm not like commentarying, doing as much commentary as I generally do. It's really difficult to do it on Genji because it's such like a high pace or high action game. I have my ultimate coming up. Get the hell out of here. He's got me in his sights. Oh shit. Chunked me out again. The one good thing about my double jump is I can just go over here. Double jump and climb walls so easily. Alright. That's really unfortunate. I was reflecting a ton of damage, but uh, this guy ultimated. Yeah. So, saved this dude's life and then he killed me. Wow, that guy did 65% of the damage on me. That was really good. Well played by Lucio. Unfortunately, I mean, I got one kill from... I don't know, I got one kill, my ult for Lucio ult, so it's not like the worst trade ever, but... I don't know. I think we need more right now. We're having some trouble breaking this. I'm gonna try and come from the side, see if I can get some damage off. Grab this health pack. I'm just gonna play this spot for a while here until my team can eventually push in. We really need to move the fuck up, though. Uh oh. God damn, man. This is not going well. <laughs> I'm just gonna start being more aggressive. I don't know, man. I can't really do too much anymore. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's happening. We can't even break that front gate, dude. We just got shit on. That Bastion pick was ridiculous. He just sat in that corner and wrecked us. Oh, play of the game. What's good? Let's go. It's me. Come on. Make a big play now. I don't remember it. Oh, yeah. This one was nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Slice and dice. There it is. All right. So that was a good game, man. I don't know. We played well early on. Kind of fell off toward the end there. Unfortunately, we couldn't finish the, the last round. Uh, ended up being 2-1 for the enemy. But GG well played to them. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Make sure to tune in next time. If you did enjoy, drop a follow or a subscribe rather. And make sure to like the video as well. So I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.